going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Black and Red Builds channel. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. Today is an awesome day because we are continuing on with the epic fan home Michael Bay version of Optimus Prime build. We have shipment number 12 in our sweaty little palms here. And this is stages 43 through 46. Can't wait to get into this, so let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, here we go, guys. Here is that familiar purple box. I can't find my freaking knife anywhere. I don't know where I put it, so uh, we'll use this to cut it open. There we go. Let's see what we got inside. All right, we got our four build parts here. Looks like we're going to be continuing on with that uh, torso and stuff. The metal pieces here. And we have our build magazines. All right, guys. I did a classic screw up here. Um, I recorded my intro. Then the dogs needed to go use the bathroom. So I went, took the dogs out. I stopped recording. And then I came back in. Got everything kind of set up. And uh, made the first two stages of this of uh, box 12 and uh, went to stop the recording again because I needed to go to the store and realized I wasn't recording at all. Uh, classic, classic mistake. Totally did not record the first two issues, 43 and 44. Nothing I can really do about it at this point, but I will show you what I've done. Uh, basically worked on the left shoulder here. I uh, added some pieces. Some of these are glued on and some of them are screwed on. Uh, this piece here, these pieces, and this piece. And then attached the whole thing to the shoulder via this screw here and that screw there. There's two screws. And uh, very, very difficult to get this screw in. Extremely difficult. And that was in the last stage, uh, stage 44, putting this onto the, the body. And uh, I'm just going to tell you now, that screw, extremely difficult to get in. Definitely use some oil. This uh, wrench that they give you, give they give you this little wrench, which you're, you didn't see because they didn't record it. You get this little wrench. Uh, it helps on some of it, but trying to get that screw in there, it just won't fit because it's too close to the other screw. So... As you can see, if you can see just how close those two screw heads are together, the wrench won't fit in there to screw that down. So I had to use uh, pliers, needle nose pliers, and get in there and just painstakingly get that screwed in. But anyways, I got it all in there. I am now starting uh, issue 45. So let's go ahead and get back up top and let's get started. All right, guys, here's issue 45. Actually, you know what? Let me show you real quick through the other two. Uh, in issue 43, these were our parts here. Uh, basically, we assembled this uh, section of the shoulder piece here. Uh, includes this little spring. We had to put this in and screw it down on. And this piece also got screwed on. We glued this piece, this blue piece on, on the outside, and that's all we've done in that issue. So, again, we we're forming this shoulder continuing to form this shoulder that we uh done in uh box 11. And then issue 44 uh, is where we got the wrench and uh, we just basically put this piece on with these little plastic washer uh was a little difficult it says to glue it in if you need to i didn't need to glue it in that's just to hold it while you put the piece over it uh, this piece goes over it and then you screw it in with that screw and uh and lock nut and this little wrench comes in very handy for that uh, they gave us this wrench previously i don't know what i did with it so i just used my needle nose pliers to hold it while i screwed it in with the wrench and then uh we had to attach the whole thing onto the uh onto the shoulder and this was the difficult part because uh, you're supposed to uh, use the wrench in the top and turn it while holding and twisting the bottom on with this wrench. But getting that all the way through there, you've got to screw it through. 
and trying to get it all the way down was just a, a real pain in the butt. At least this one was for me. Yours might go in a little easier, but mine was an extreme pain in the butt to get it all the way in there. But I got it all the way in, uh, and then uh, these three these uh, pieces here needed a pin put through. There's three of them. Uh, you just put the pieces together and push the pin in, and then they connected onto the shoulder, and now we have this piece here done. Okay, now we're going to get into issue 45. All right, here's issue 45. Thumb through it really quick. All the same kind of stuff, talking about the comics and the toys and things like that. Uh, and this is our parts right here. We are starting the right shoulder now, just like we did the left shoulder. Uh, this is going to bring us uh, pretty much to uh, the point that we, I think, left off in the last issue on the right shoulder. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, just on the last one, we have two parts that are 45G and one that is 45H. And basically, uh, the 45Gs are a little thicker and the 45H has a thicker rim on it here. We're gonna start with the 245G and we're gonna take our uh, 45A, this piece, this metal piece, this direction, and we're gonna put one 45G in each side here and here. And it doesn't matter how they go. We're just gonna put them in and push them, push them in there. They fit nice and snug, so they're not gonna come out or go anywhere. Let's get this one put in. I was having issues with my uh, OBS. It was, it kept, it kept crashing on me, and I had to update the drivers on my graphics card. There we go. All right, and uh, this is 45H, and it's going to go in to this hole right here on this side, this, this raised side, like that. So we got that one here, and we have these two here and here. All right, now we got 45B, which is this piece here, and we got 45E. And we're going to take it this direction, and 45E, uh, this piece here, is gonna go in right here. And I believe, yeah, it's like a half circle in here. It only goes in one way. So you just wanna get it in. Yeah, that's it, just push it in just like that. So it's gonna kind of mimic the molded in piece underneath. As you can see, this is the one we put in, and then that piece is molded underneath, so just like that. All right, now we have 45F, which is this piece right here. Looks like a little claw on the end, and that's going to go into this metal piece here that we started working on. And right here on this side, there's another little hole, and it's got like the half circle in there. You can see it's flattened off on one side, and so is the pin on this, so it only goes in that one direction. And we're going to put that in there and push it push it down nice and snug, just like that. All right, now we got two CP screws and we're gonna attach these two pieces together. All right, and we have these two pins that are gonna go into these two holes right there. So right, it's actually gonna go this side with these pins facing upwards. Stick these two down into it just like that, right in there just like that. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna secure that here and here with those two CP screws. I'm just going to load a screw onto our screwdriver here. Get one in. I'm going to get the other one in. Get those nice and snug. Just like that. All right, now we got this uh, piece here with the little gold dot in it there. That is uh, part 45D. And we have a pin. And we're going to take it this direction. Uh, this is the outside of the shoulder here. So with the outside facing up and the, the nice detail of this one, we're going to set it over the top of that, like that. Now we're going to take the pin with the rough side. Again, these pins have a smooth side and a rough side. And we're going to put the smooth side in first. And we're going to slide that in just like that. And now I'm going to take my pliers. And I'm going to just catch that and push that all the way through. Just like that. Yep. Now it's nicely on there. All right, guys, that's the end of issue 45. Let's go ahead and move on to issue 46. Okay, here's issue 46. Let's go ahead and get a look in there. Peruse through it. The legacy of the trackers. Bass Galaxy. 
Oh, these are colorful, huh? All right, here we are at our parts here. Of course, we're still working on that right shoulder and getting it finished up. And we're gonna get this right shoulder up to the point, uh, I believe here, uh, where we finished stage 11. Now, if you're in Europe, uh, you're gonna be moving on to even further parts. I think you're gonna be adding on uh, the doors, the windows and everything onto his chest after you put this on. But uh, we're not at that point here in the US. We were only getting four stages at a time. So uh, this is where we will be ending uh, pack 12 here in the US. So, unless you're a new subscriber here in the US, then you get six stages at a time. I contacted Fan Home about it and they said they're not gonna change anything. If you if you were an early adopter, you're gonna continue to only get four stages. Uh, and that's just the way it is, so. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, I gotta find my knife. All right, guys, we're getting our piece that we finished in uh, stage 45, and we're going to be attaching 46B, which is this plastic piece here. It's the one, it looks like kind of like a hubcap. It's got the ridges around the one side. Uh, this is only gonna go on one direction because of the shape. As you can see, we have these three pins here. It's gonna be pushing into these three holes and they will only go one way, just like that. And we're gonna secure that down with three FM screws, but we're going into metal, so we're gonna add a little oil onto these holes. Like I said, guys, this is the Liberty Oil Products, 100% synthetic oil, and it works really well. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Okay, let's get these screwed on. Definitely need to charge my screwdriver. As soon as I get done here, I'm putting it on the charger. It still works well when it, even when it's low charge, it still helps. Think of it like an electric bike where you uh, pedal, but the uh, electric motor assists you. Kind of like that. There we go. Nice and snug on there. It's going to look just like that. And now we got 46C and we're gonna be attaching this with three KP screws, just like we did the last piece. Uh, you can see how it goes, it's gonna go down this way. Again, it's only gonna fit these one direction, so this is a uh, plastic going on plastic, so we don't need any oil, just like that. And we need our three KP screws. All right, let's go ahead and get these screwed on. There we go, it's gonna look just like that. Okay, guys, now we got 46A, this plastic piece here. And we have 46D, this metal pin here. And that's going to go into this hole like this. And we're going to push that all the way down until it's level. So, I mean, you got to give it some good pressure. Just push it. If you got a hard surface to push it on, do that. Push on that hard surface. And I'm just going to give it a little more push because this is kind of a squishy texture. Just to make sure it's flat all the way down in there, just like that. All right, now we're gonna take three more of our KP screws here, and we're gonna attach this on here. Again, we're stacking this up, and it should go in just one direction. Uh, but it's gonna go this, this way around with the nice side facing up, just like the rest of this. And this is gonna go into the center, like that, and press all the way down nice and snug. And then we're gonna secure that down with the three KP screws. I'm gonna drop all the screws right into the screw holes. Like that, and then just uh, screw them in. All right, once you get it nice and snug, it's gonna look just like this. All right, and this piece came off, uh, so it's popped off pretty easily. I might put a little glue on that glue that in so it won't come back off. It's the tiniest little drop, it doesn't need much. I'm gonna make sure it don't come back off again. There we go. I thought that felt a little loose when I put it on originally, even, and it did, it fell right off, so. All right guys, that is the end of stage 46, and the end of box 12. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. We're done. Okay guys, we are all done with box 12. Let's go ahead and get this main body piece back over here. Uh, here it is, right here. We got the left shoulder done and on. 
and we have started the right shoulder, which is right here. And uh, yeah, that'll be going on this side when we're done. Uh, I'm guessing in the next pack, we'll, next four packs, we'll be doing that and getting that put on. And uh, yeah, I can't wait. It's been, uh, been a great build so far, and uh, I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, let me know in the uh, comments down below what your favorite sci-fi movie is. I was just thinking about that today. There's so many great sci-fi movies of all time. Um, alien. I'm talking like alien sci-fi movies since Transformers are basically aliens here on our planet from Cybertron. I'm curious what your favorite alien franchise is. And uh, I'd probably say mine is probably Aliens, the second alien movie. Probably my favorite alien sci-fi movie of all time. But I don't know, man. There's so many great alien sci-fi type movies. But anyways, guys, I'm just curious. Let me know what your favorite alien sci-fi movie is in the comments down below. I appreciate it very much. And if you guys haven't seen uh, my last build, I did the Yolo Park Bumblebee movie Optimus Prime. It was an epic build. It took me about a week just to build that and then... Uh, a couple of days of editing to get that put together. So I appreciate you guys checking that one out. I'll leave a link to that down in the description down below as well. And uh, I'm out of here, guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Stroll over there and hit that subscribe button. It is right down there. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Builds. See you. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.